This is SIP's 12 inch induction motor disc sander. Because it's an induction motor, lovely and quiet, so it's actually a pleasure to use. Large cast iron table to support the work in front, as well as a good quality mitre slide, which you'll see is actually a 40, uh, an actual right angle itself. So we can make sure that when we're doing things such as picture frames, we know we're going to get equal angles. The motor itself on starting, the switch on the side here, is lovely and quiet. And as you can see, it's more or less vibration free. On stopping the machine, it will keep running for a significant amount of time, but you have got a manual brake at the top to actually bring it to a stop quicker. Built into it, we have the extract, its own extraction facility. So the dust is actually sent through into the dust collection bag here, or alternatively, if preferred, can be connected into a usual extraction source if you'd prefer to do so. The cast table can be tilted from 90 degrees where it is at the present down to 45 degrees, enabling you to do compound cuts. The machine is absolutely ideal for doing either curved work or flat work, as I'll now demonstrate. Always working from the centre of the disc to the left hand side. You can see the quality and how quickly it brought that down to a nice smooth finish. Angled cuts can be done, or square section can be done just as easily, or whether you wanted to actually bring a section from a straight edge to a curve, again very easily done, keeping the sanding action to the left hand side of the disc. Again, this oak is taking it away very easily, very quickly cutting. The 12 inch discs are velcro back, so can be easily reapplied or the grits changed and reapplied at a later date. No sticky adhesive here that will result in the discs getting damaged as you actually remove them. Using the mitre slide, very straightforward. It can be positioned wherever you like and again, will consistently bring the work into the correct angle that you wish it to, to sand. Again, stopping with the bait. To tilt the table away from 90 degrees is simply a case of turning the locking handle or the Bristol locking handle and dropping the table or lifting it and then re-locking into the position desired.